to Dana Rebick, who is with the protesters on the west side. This protest organized by Black Lives Matter and several other groups. Dana? That's right, and it is a pretty active situation here. We'll kind of give you a look at what's going on behind me. We are near the intersection of Ogden and Washington. Uh, the protesters, this is a group of about 2,000 people, we're told. Uh, they are right now about a block down the street from where we are standing, and there is a large police presence here uh, next to me because down Washington Street, that is where the FOP Lodge is, and they are protecting it. You have these officers here on bicycles, and then further down the sidewalk, you can see all of those. Uh, office, officers there standing. We have these streets and sanitation vehicles uh, blocking this street. So they do not want this crowd getting anywhere near that building. Now we have seen some very large demonstrations this week. This is one of the larger ones. And here's a quick uh, look at uh, what this rally looked like before the march stepped off earlier tonight. This event organized by several community groups, including Black Lives Matter, Chicago, and 33rd Ward Working Families on what would have been the 27th birthday of Breonna Taylor, who was shot and killed by police in Louisville during an attempted raid on her apartment. Now, the march tonight here was relatively peaceful. There was a somewhat tense moment along the route when this group surrounded a Chicago police vehicle. Several of the bicycle officers formed a barricade around it. Some people in the crowd stepping in uh, a little bit of pushing back and forth and moving in on them, but there were no significant clashes with the police, no damage of property, and the group then continued marching. They are calling for the defunding of police, wanting more uh, money to go to social causes to help disenfranchised groups in the city. They want CPD and the National Guard to stand down and an end to the curfew in Chicago, as well as the release of all protesters arrested in demonstrations over the last week. The march again started at Union Park went down Ashland to Chicago, the route then winding back to Randolph and ending uh, here where it started. Those taking part say they have been moved by the wave of demonstrations worldwide following the death of George Floyd, and they are hopeful for positive change. These are Americans that are dying, you know, and I consider myself a patriot. I am I'm a black person, but I'm also an African. I mean, I'm an African as well. And I'm born in this country, and this is the country that I want to fight for, and that means to fight for all the communities, including black and brown. This is reality. This has always been the reality. You need to educate yourself. And we have to heal. And here's a live look at Skycam 9 over this group right now, a crowd estimate of about 2,000 people. They are stretched down Randolph. We did see them uh, for about eight minutes, as we've seen other groups do, sitting in the street, eight minutes of silence. Now, uh, over the weekend, Mayor Lori Lightfoot is shutting down a stretch of Lakeshore Drive from Fullerton to 31st Street, as well as opening Grant Park and Union Park here uh, behind me to give protesters spaces to demonstrate straight this weekend, but that 9 p.m. curfew, she says, is still in effect. This group, though, still out here tonight. Here's another look down the street from me. Uh, this is down Ogden. And then again behind me, you have this police presence. They are trying to protect down Washington Street so this group does not approach and do any damage to the FOP Lodge. Live on the near west side, Dana Rebick. Toss it back to you in the studio. Dana, thank you very much.